sashin Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 16 da 19 da kuma a tashoshin FM a wasu kasashen Afirka ko a shafin mu na bbchausa.com Man saurare assalamu alaikum rabi'a ta kabarin ka ce ke fatan kun wani lafiya a cikin shirinmu na karfe 8 da rabi'a agogon Najeriya da Niger wato 7 da rabi kenan agogon GMT da Ghana To a cikin shirin za ku ji cewa dakaran Isra'ila sun fada da samami a kudancin Gaza inda akaran farko suka shiga yankin Almawasi dake yammacin birnin Kano News. A Liberia an katsa bikin rantsar da sabon shugaban kasar Joseph Bua kai bayan sabon shugaban ya kusa sukewa saboda tsananin zafin rana. A Najeriya wasu kungiyoyin arewacin kasar na ci gaba da yin kakkausar suka akan shirin matakin mayar da wasu ofisoshi na ma'aikatun gwamnatin tarayya zuwa Lagos daga Abuja. Babban zargin da ake yana tabbata kenan sannu a hankali shi yasa muka fito muke yayya muke kuma nuna adawa da wannan tsari shugabanci ya kamata ka samar da yanayi ne da kowa kowane dan kasa da yake daidai dan ya iya kokari ya cimma burin sa na rayuwa a gane kuwa wasu masu sharhi na ganin cewa sabar jam'iyyar da wasu matasa suka kafa za ta kawo cikas ga manyan jam'iyyun kasar sa jama'a da dama hankalin su ya dan karkata suna ganin ya kamata a yi sauyi to wacce jam'iya ce ta shirya da za ta yi ta bada guduma wajen ganin cewa an farfado da wannan matsala da ake fuskanta na tattalin arziki a nan kasar Ghana to za kuma mu je birnin Abidjan domin jin sakamakon wasannin gasar cin kofin Afirka da wasu kasashe suka buga da yammacin yau cikin har da Najeriya amma kafin nan gaba da Masi Abdul Kadir Mukhtar da labaran duniya dakarin Isra'ila sun fada da samame a kudancin Gaza kuma a karon farko sun shiga yankin Almawasi dake yammacin birnin Kano Yunis an nuna bidiyon tankokin Isra'ila a kusa da asibitin Alkhair dake yankin Ma'aikatan lafiya a Gaza ta ce dakarin Isra'ila sun afka asibitin inda suka kama ma'aikatan jinya da dama. Our brave soldiers are fighting in the very hard conditions. To bring back Kakin majalisar yakin Isra'ila yace zara tan dakarin mu suna yaki a cikin mawuyacin yanayi. Domin ceto mutanen da aka tsare a Gaza tare kuma da wanzar da tsaro a yankin baki daya. Amerika ta kaka ba ta kaka ba wa jirgin saman Iraqi ta kunkumi a bisa zargin cewa yana tallafawa kungiyoyin masu dauke da makamai a Iraqi. The US Treasury Department has accused fly Baghdad of delivering weapons. BBC yace ma'aikatar kudin Amerika ta zargi kamfanin fly Baghdad da sarrafa da safarar makamai zuwa birni wato zuwa filin jirgin saman Damascus inda kungiyoyin mayaka ke ayyukan su. Kungiyoyin masu dauke da makamai sun kara kaimi wajen harhare kan cibiyoyin Amurka a Iraqi tun bayan fara yakin Isra'ila da Hamas. Tuni dai fly Baghdad yayi watsi da wannan takunkumi yana mai cewa bashi da wani nauyi a kansa na yin bayani akan abin da ya faru. An katse bikin rantsar da sabon shugaban Liberia Joseph Bokai bayan shugaban ya kusa sukewa saboda tsanin rana a lokacin da ake rantsar da shi. Tuni dai aka rantsar da Mr. Bokai mai shekara 79. An fahimci halin da yake ciki ne yana tsakiyar gabatar da jawabin sa. President Bokai had been delivering his inaugural speech for over 30 minutes under the Liberian BBC ta ce shugaba Bokai yana jawabin kama aiki sai kawai ya sarki nan da nan haduman sa suka kai dauki. Daga baya kakakin jam'iyar sa ya bayyana cewa Mr. Bokai yana dawo cikin hayyacin sa. Yana mai cewa tun farko an tafka kuskure na rashin tanadin fanka a wajen da yake jawabin. To kuna shan labaran ne daga sashen Hausa na BBC. Dakarin sojin Ecuador sun ce sun yi nasarar kwace tan 20 na hudar Iblis a wani samame mafi girma a tarihin kasar. Sun ce sun yi kwacen ne a wata gonar Ayaba dake gabar kogi. Dakarin sun gano wata boyayyar wato maboyar karkashin kasa dake da ake sarrafa hodar iblis din da nufin fitar da ita zuwa kasashen waje shugaban Ecuador Daniel Noboa wanda ya kaddamar da yaki da safarar kwaya tun bayan kama aikin sa ya fada da wa'adin yakin zuwa karshen watan Afrilu Tawagar majalisar dinkin duniya Afghanistan ta ce shugaban shugabannin Taliban suna ci gaba da hana matan kasar aiki da zuwa makaranta da kuma kula da lafiya 
a sabar rahoton da ta fitar akan akan Afghanistan din majalisar dinkin duniya ta ce a birnin Kandahar kungiyar Taliban ta umarci direbobin motar bus su dai na daukar mata ba tare da muharraman su maza ba hakanan kuma an bayar da rahoton wasu mata ma'aikatan lafiya uku da aka kulle saboda zuwa aiki ba tare da muharraman su ba tuni dai kakakin Taliban ya musanta zargin yana mai cewa an gina rahoton ne a bisa rashin fahimta to karshen labarin duniyar kenan a gaida Badamasi Abdul Qadir Mukhtar yanzu kuma sai rahotannin da shirin yake dauke da su dakaran Isra'ila sun fada da samami a kudancin Gaza kuma a karan farko sun shiga yankin Almawasi dake yammacin birnin Kanyinus ga rahotan Aisha Salis Babangida mai magana da yan ma'aikatan lafiya a Gaza ya shaidawa kamfanin dillancin labarai na Reuters cewa Isra'ila sun kusa cikin asibitin Al-Khair inda suka hau kama ma'aikatan lafiya yayin da rahotanni ke cewa suna ci gaba da kai hari kan asibiti na biyu sai dai har kawo yanzu babu wani martani daga dakarun sojin Isra'ila sai dai a can Brussels ana tare da majalisar tarayyar Turai inda ministocin harkokin wajen yankin ke tattaunawa kan halin da ake ciki a Gaza Tarang, wanda minista harkokin wajen Israila da jakadan Palestinu Riyad Al-Malik ke halarta. Riyad Al-Malikin ya ce dole ne tarayyar Turai ta yi kira da tsagaita wuta tsakanin Hamas da Israila. Life of Palestinians really matter. Rayuwar Palestinawa na da matukar muhimmanci. Ba zai yi mu amince da yadda rayuwar yaran Palestinawa ke samun kaskantacciyar kulawa ba. Sabanin sauran yaran duniya. Hakan abu ne mai matukar muhimmanci. A bayyana abin yake da yan uwana na tarayyar Turai muna sa ran cewa za ku yi kira a tsagaita wuta muna kuma jiran mu ji kun yi Allah wadai da kalaman da Netanyahu yayi na samar da kasashe biyu about rejecting the two state solution gwamma mutane ne aka rawaito cewa sun rasa rayukan su a jerin hararren da Gaza ta kai akan Yunis dake gudanjin Gaza yayin da ake ci gaba da fafatawa tsakanin dakarun Isra'ila da na Hamas mutacin daukar marasa lafiya su ma sun makale wanda hakan ya hana su iya karasawa da wanda suka samu raunuka asibiti hakan dai na zuwa ne a didi lokacin da wasu gwamman masu zanga zanga suka kusa kai cikin wani taro majalisar kasar inda suka bukaci lalle gwamnatin kasar ta hanzarta wajen ganin an sako sauran wadanda aka yi garkuwa da su a Gaza rahotan da Aisha Salisu baban gida ta hada mana kenan a Kamaru an soma shirin rigakafin zazzabin cizon sauro na farko a duniya a wani yunkuri na ceto rayukan dubban kananan yara a duk fadin nahiyar Afirka an kaddamar da wannan rigakafi mai tarihi ne da daga maganin a bakin wata jaririya mai suna Daniela a wani asibiti dake kusa da birnin ya wanda ya litinin ga rahotan Haruna Shehu Tangaza a kowace shekara dai mutane 600 ne yake mutuwa sanadiyar cutar malaria a nahiyar Afirka inji hukumar lafiya ta duniya kuma kashi 80 bai na wannan adadin yara ne an kasa ga shekaru biyar a wannan shirin da aka fara a Kamaru dai jarirai ne yan watanni shida zuwa kasa aiki yau daga kafin kyauta kuma ana son a yi wa kowane jarirai daga kafin sau hudu kafin ya kai shekaru biyu sai dai a ciwar masu bincike a Amurka wannan daga kafin na tasiri ne ga kashi 36 bai kawai na wadanda aka yi wa ita abin da ke nufin za ta iya cito mutun daya daga cikin kowadanni uku ne kawai kamfanin sarrafa magunguna na Britaniya GSK dai ya kwashe shekaru 30 kafin ya samar da wannan rigakafin hukumar lafiya ta duniya WHO wadda ta amince da maganin rigakafin ta ya ba da kaddamar da ita da Kamaru ta yi a zaman wani mataki mai ciki da tarihi wajen yaki da cututukan da sauroki ya dawa Dr. Kate O'Brien Darakta mai kula da rigakafi a head quarter hukumar lafiya ta duniyar da ke birnin Geneva cewa take Malaria vaccines are so important they save lives and now Magungunar rigakafin malaria na da matukar muhimmanci domin suna ceto rayuka kuma yanzu muna da nau'i biyu na rigakafin cutar ana kiran su magungunar rigakafin RTSS da R21 kuma wadannan magungunan lalle suna ceto rayuwa mun ga haka kasashe da dama suka rage mace-macen yara da kuma yan kwantar da su da ake yi a asibiti saboda cutar ta malaria mai tsanani an kaddamar da rigakafin cutar ta malaria ne a Kamaru dai bayan wasu gwaje-gwajen da aka yi a kasashen Kenya da Ghana da kuma Malawi a cikin nasara yanzu dai wasu kasashe a shirin na fatan kaddamar da irin wannan shirin a bana 
inji ci biyar samar da magunan riga ka fita duniya da aka fi sani da Gavi daga cikin su akwai Burkina Faso da Liberia da Niger da kuma Saliyo mutane kimanin miliyan 6 da nake kamuwa da cutar ta malaria a Kamaru a kowace shekara kuma adadin mutanen da kan mutu a asibitoci kawai ya kai 400 galibin su yara yan kasa ga shekaru biyar an gaida Haruna Tangaza da wannan rahotu to kan wannan batu dai ga abin da wasu al'umar jamhuriyar ta Kamaru ke cewa ina na malam ta eh ni kam duk shekara ana yin na ba da iyali na ni moje yawanci moje ma suna bayarwa amma waje dai dai ne suke kin bayarwa kamar mu muna gani amfanin aluran riga kafin din na malaria yana ta siri anan Kamaru kam ta namu shashin nan anan Kamaru don mu muna shashin inda ake kira Bafumban din na gani a kara masu a kara waye kansu kam aka tsara waye kansu ina da kyau assalamu alaikum ni ne Alhaji Malatanko daga bamin da a kasar Kamaru a gaskiya wannan aluran da aka kawo ne daga fin ciwo malaria zan bari aima ya rana da shawaran su tun da duk shawaran aluran ma da ake yi mana ko ya muka da su turawa su suke yi da na fog covid da wanne da wanne duka da tura ne suke mu mai musan kome ba ilimin ma bai kan mu hada kome ba zan ba da su dai akan manufa mai kyau saboda dai su samu lafiya shine ra'ayina ra'ayoyin wasu daga cikin mazaunan jamhuriyar kamaru kenan to yanzu kuma bari mu je Najeriya inda kungiyar dalalan man Peter masu zaman kansu ta Najeriyar Ipman ta ce ta ci mai rijijiniya da matatar man Peter ta dangwate da ta fara aiki a baya bayan nan domin bawa ƴaƴanta ta taccen man Peter kungiyar ta ce tana saran samun man zai taimaka wajen rage wahalar sa da ake samu a wasassan kasar da kuma samun saukin farashi Alhaji Abu Bakar mai gandi Shatima shine shugaban kungiyar dalalan man Peter din ta kasa wato Ipman ya kuma yi wa Imam Sala karin bayani akan wannan yarjejeniya da suka cin ma eh lalle mu rubuta wasikin mu kuma mun kai ma ainihin shi matatan man Peter ta dangote mun ga musu cewa muna da shawa mu ma a ba mu namu kaso na mai wanda yake zamu raba ga gidajin man da ke gare mu a cikin Najeriya kuma wannan tattaunawa ta yi kyau kware da gaskiye kuma za su ba mu kason mu domin mu raba ma al'umman mu akwai karin bayani akan kamar lita nawa za a ba ku eh har yanzu dai ba mu kayyade akan lita nawa za su ba mu ba amma dai mun gaya musu ainihin yawancin gidajen man da ke gare mu da kuma yawancin membobin da ke gare mu na wannan kungiya ta mu domin muna da sama ga membobi 230 sa'an nan kuma muna da gidajen mai sama ga 250 akwai rahotannin da ke cewa za a ba mambobin ku akalla 230 man Peter din nan me karin bayani akan haka a ba 230 yake ba a kayyade abin da suka gaya mana cewa dukkan gidajen man mu 250 da yarda Allah ya dan suka kare suka kare ainihin tatan man Peter din su sa'an nan suka samu izini na saidawa to insha Allah za su ba mu mai wadataci wanda zai wadaci gidajen mu mu gabaki daya akwai lokaci da aka sanya ne kila da za a fara ba ku man eh ba wani lokaci amma dai cikin ko ne lokaci wannan mai za a iya ba mu shi domin halin da ake ciki wannan refinery da yana ne yana aiki kuma yana ne yana tattan mai ko muna tsamanin cikin ko ne lokaci idan shi ainihin ya samu izini na sai da wannan mai muna tsamanin cikin ko ne lokaci ya kira mu domin mu zo mu hada daukan wannan mai ta wacce hanya kake ganin wannan zai taimaka musamman ma wajen rage wahalan man da ake fama da ita a Najeriya a zai taimaka sosai da ka san sai an je waje an zo da shi to yanzu kuma yana cikin gida saboda haka kaga na farko dai za a samu rashin karancin mai din idan an fara sai da wannan mai na dangwate sa'an nan na bi kuma zai ba al'umma mu yan kasa aiki mu kan mu sauran gidajen man mu da ba su samu mai yanzu kaga za su samu mai su kai gidajen man su wanda yake kuma idan ka duba idan aka kai mai cikin kowane gidan mai to al'umman da ke aiki ka daya a ciki suna samu amfanin da ya kamata su samu kuma zai rage musu zaman banza banji ka tabo batun saukin farashi ba akwai sauki da za a samu akan farashin man eh muna tsammani a samu sauki domin kaga magana kudaden shiguwa da wannan mai da wasu abubuwa kaga ya rabu saboda haka muna tsammanin a samu sauki bisa ga yadda muke siyar da shi 
Alhaji Abu Bakar mai gandi sha taimake nan shugaban kungiyar dillalan man Peter masu zaman kansu ta Nigeria Ipman. To yanzu karfe 9 saurakwata Nigeria da Niger ta kwa saurakwata kina a gogon GMT da Ghana. Rabi a takabar rinkace ke gabatar muku da shirin dare daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC baya ga sauraron mu ta hanyar internet a bbchausa.com za a iya sauraron mu akan wayar sarula a kowane lokaci ake bukata. to gaba a cikin shirin muna tafe da labarin wasanni za kuma a cikin labarin wasanni za ku ji sakamakon wasannin gasar cin kofin Afirka da wasu kasashe suka buga da yammacin yau ciki har da Najeriya amma kafin nan bari mu je Ghana inda wasu masu sharhi a kasar ke ganin cewa sabuwar jam'iyyar da wasu matasa suka kafa za ta haifar da cikas ga jam'iyyar NPP mai mulki da kuma jam'iyyar adawa ta NDC wadanda suka kwashe gwamnan shekaru suna mulkin kasar Hakan na zuwa ni yayin da kasar ke kokarin fita daga cikin mawuyacin halin tattalin arziki mafi muni da ta tsandama ciki na tsawon shekaru da dama. Ga rahotan Fahad Adam daga Birnin Accra. Duk da yake kasar Ghana tana amfani da tsarin siyasar da akwai jam'iyyu da yawa ne sai dai guda biyu kacal ne wato jam'iyyun MPP da NDC suke yin kane-kane kuma suka yi babakere akan kargan mulki musamman na shugaban kasa amma a baya bayan nan bullowar wata sabuwar jam'iyya mai suna New Force Movement karkashin jagorancin wani attajirin matashi dan kasuwa na na Kwami Bediya ku da aka fasani da chada na ci gaba da jan hankula musamman na matasa kasar Ghana yayin da wasu manazarta kamar su Salawuddin Yunus a kwanci ke ganin sabuwar jam'iyyar ta na na Kwame Bediya ku mai lakabi da chada ba za ta yi tasiri ba tasirin sa da wuya dubi da irin wasu jami'in siyasan da muka samu gabanin shi kamar yin fafa ku sun dumu kamar su wasa mai har gada makamance su dukkan su amshaki attajiyar ne wanda yake suna da mallakin su suka zo da niyyar cewa bari mu fanshi matasa amma a waye gari sai da aka dukushar da arzikin su sa'annan kuma fahimtar mutane a kasa game da jam'iyya kamar yadda gabatar jam'iyya NDC da NPP ga yan kasar Ghana dini ne ba kawai zallan jam'iyya bane wasu kuwa masu sharhi kan al'amuran yau da kullun a Ghana kamar su Hamza Adam wani dan jarida yace akwai alamun sabuwar jam'iyyar ta chada za ta iya takarar gani wani yunkuri ne da masharhanta ke ganin za a iya a samu natija mai kyau ya ba da gudunmuwa wajen tabbatar da jam'iyyan da za ta jagoranci al'umman Ghana a shekarar 2025 shi yasa jama'a da dama hankalin su ya dan karkata suna ganin ya kamata a yi sauyi to wacce jam'iyya ce ta shirya da za ta yi ta ba da gudunmuwa wajen ganin cewa an farfado da wannan matsala da ake fuskanta na tattalin arziki a nan kasar Ghana shi yasa wannan shi saurayi da ya bullo da irin nasa wato dabaru marba amma har in ya samu dama ya shiga ina tabbatarwa ba da ta shakka ba cewa akwai gudunmuwa da zai bayar a watan disambar wannan shekara ne dai ake sa ran za a fafata a zaben game gari a kasar Ghana duk da yake dai akwai yan takarar shugaban kasa da yawa amma fafatawar za ta fi zafi ne tsakanin mataimakin shugaban kasa na yanzu Alhaji Dr. Mahamudu Bawamiya na jam'iyya mai mulki ta MPP da kuma tsohon shugaban kasar ta Ghana John Dramani Mahama na babban jam'iyyar adawa ta NDC sai dai yanzu ana zuba a argido a ga irin rawar da wannan sabuwar jam'iyya ta na na kwami bediya ku za ta taka a wannan zabe mai zuwa Muhammad Fadi Adam sashin Hausa na BBC daga Accra Ghana to daga batun siyasa a Ghana sai na kuma har ilayo siyasar amma a Nigeria a jihar Borno inda a karan farko aka zabe mace a matsayin shugabar karamar hukumar jire a jihar dake arewa masu gabashin Najeriya Hajiya Inna Galadima ta kafa tarihi na zama mace ta farko da aka zaba a wannan makami tun bayan kafuwar jihar kusan shekaru 50 da suka wuce to ko ya ta ji da wannan nasara da ta samu tambayar ke nan da a shashar babba ta mata ta wayar tarho to alhamdulillah gaskiya muna farin ciki mata dan gaskiya ba a taba samun mace wanda ta tsaya takara elected a jihar Borno State gaba daya ba sai a wannan karan kuma mun gode wa Allah kuma mun gode wa gwamnatin mu professor baba gana Umar Azulum da ya ba mu goyon baya da hakan ya faru wacce irin gogor mai ya kika sha kafin ki kai ga wannan matsayi alhamdulillah mu empathy ne empathy APC kuma nayi commissioner 
karkashin his excellency the vice president lokacin da yake governor borno na tokashim shatima na yi commissioner ta mata nazo nayi commissioner ta the poverty alleviation and youth empowerment shi ma na tara uku eh na kauda talauci kuma nazo nayi commissioner na agriculture ta noma shi ma na kusan shi eh haka ta noma gaskiya wannan lokacin tukan gaba daya an tallafa wa jama'a sosai ta wayannan fannaka me ya ji hankalin ki har kika tsaya takarar shugabar karmar hukumar jere gaskiya his excellency professor baba gana umar zulum ya taimaka mana sosai sosai a kokarin hukumar ta jere dan because ya ayyuka sosai still dole ne za ta shi neman tasara muka ce mu matan ma mu gwada mu ga cewa mun ga cewa mata sun shiga kuma mu taimaka wa wajihar mu especially mata da da youth da matasa da samari gaba daya eh kuma in Allah yadda za mu ci gaba da bada dividend of democracy ma jama'an mu na kasar jere to kaman mu wadanda irin kalubale kika fuskanta tun daga tsaya wake takara ba wani kalubale da na fuskanta dan because gaskiya da na fito sai na abun mamaki kowa kuma alhamdulillah ya bada goyen bayan shi 900 his excellency ya bada goyen bayan shi jama'an jam'iyar mu ta APC ta ba goyen bayan 900